hi everyone welcome you all so in the today's video we are going to see how we can handle different type of failures in cypress so sometimes when you're working with any applications so you will get some kind of alerts or pop-ups until unless we handle those pop-ups or alerts we cannot proceed with further activities or further actions on your application so how we can handle those type of alerts in cypress so basically we have different type of alerts like sometimes we have a javascript alert which is having only ok button and sometimes you can have confirmation alert where we can see ok and cancel buttons and uh, sometimes you will get some prompted alert where you can see some input boxes or ok and cancel button along with that and sometimes the uh, alert window is also having some kind of a text inside this and uh, you can also see sometimes authenticated alert. So the alert window is having some kind of username and password. Once you are authenticated, then you're able to log into the application. So basically these are the different types of alerts we can see on our applications, but how we can handle them in Cypress. So Cypress is by default uh, uh, will handle the alerts. So we no need to write any separate script for that. So as soon as some alert window is open on the application, Cypress will automatically handle it. So automatically it will close it. So we no need to write any separate action for that. But sometimes if you want to do some validations on alert window, like what is a message displayed on the alert window, or if you want to pass some text in the alert window, suppose if it is kind of a dialog box or is a dialog kind of alert window, we need to pass some text. And if you want to close my alert window, either by using OK button or a cancel button. So then we have to write some kind of a code and we have to trigger some kind of event. So alert window will automatically closed by the Cypress itself. So we no need to write separate script for that. But if you want to do some validation on alert window, we have to write a code and we have to write certain event. Okay, so whenever the alert window is open, Cypress will automatically close it. We don't need to write a separate code for that. But if you want to do some validation on alert window, we have to rise or we have to trigger some event through our Cypress script. So we have to trigger some event and that particular event will validate uh, some message or some text in the alert window. Okay, so if I look at the uh, Cypress official website, so they have provided different type of events so what is an event is basically before or after alert window is open the event will be triggered and if i look at this cypress events so they have provided different type of events catalog of events so here you can see different type of events they provided like app app events and uh, then you can see cypress events and so many types of events like binding of events so so many uh events they have provided so by events by raising these events we will able to validate the alert boxes or alert windows okay so for example if i just look at here uh uncatch exception window confirmation especially this we will use for confirmation alert window and window alert so this we will use for uh, alert type of window so like that there are so many types of events they have provided and these events we have to trigger then we will able to validate alert windows okay so basically we have four types of alerts alert simple alert and confirmation alert prompt alert and authenticated alert now we will see how we can handle these alerts by using selenium so first let us start with simple alert window and for that uh, i'm going to use uh, one application where you can find all types of alerts let's go to the page and here this is my website and here you can see three different uh, buttons and when you click on the first one this will give you a normal alert which is having some text and which is having only one button which is okay button and second one this is a confirmation alert so along with the text you can see okay and cancel this is called confirmation alert and the third one is prompted alert where we can pass some text here like this then we can say either cancel or okay this is called prompted alert so these are the three types of windows and apart from these three we also have something called authenticated alert that we will see later so first let us see how we can handle these three types of alerts so first let us start with normal alert then we will see confirmation alert then we will see prompted alert okay so first we'll see normal alert. for that i'm going to write one it block okay so i can say it 
and here i'm just giving some name called js alert javascript alert and uh, comma and i'm writing one arrow function so i can say arrow function and then curly brace so inside this block let us start uh, launching the page i can say cy dot visit cy dot visit and here we can specify the uh, application url so let's copy this url of application and then specify here so this will launch our web page and once it is launched now i want to uh, click on this button so inspect this element and once we inspect this element and you can see this is a button and on click equal to js script is method is calling and we can write css or export whatever you want and if i just go to selector hub which is provided CSS selector. So let me use the CSS selector to identify this element. So here, cy.get, and I'm getting that element. This is the element. And single quotation, within single quotation not allowed. So I'll keep inside the double quotations. So this is basically a button. Now I'm performing the click action on this. All right, so I perform the click action on this. So this will open the alert window as i said cypress will automatically close the alert window we no need to perform any action on that okay so let me just try to execute and show me how it is automatically handle this and open the new terminal and i'll open cypress test runner i can say npx cypress open okay now end-to-end -end testing chrome browser and now you can see Cypress app window. So here you can run our alt test. So now I'm running the alerts. So test not found. It is saying test not found. Let me save the file first. Okay, let me remove this. Okay, and now save the file. Okay, so now it is started. See now, we are clicking on the button, but we win, will not see any alert window here. We successfully click on that button, but we haven't seen a alert window. Why? Because the alert window is automatically handled by the Cypress. So you can see the result also. You successfully clicked on alert. So once you click on this, the alert window is automatically closed by your Cypress. So that's the reason uh, we no need to write a separate script for closing the alert window, which will automatically close it. But what we should hear is we need to validate something on the alert window. Okay, so for example, when I click on this alert window, so I want to validate this message, right? So I want to validate this message. So for that, what you can do is we need to trigger one event. So we need to trigger one event. So what is that event we have to trigger? Basically, this is a normal window. So if you look at the Cypress events, Cypress events. And there are so many events are provided. So basically, this is a normal alert, right? So we need to write, uh, we need to trigger one event. If I just look at here, there are so many events are there. And which event we have to trigger? So this is basically uh, alert window, simple alert window. So we have to trigger this one, window colon alert. So this is the event we have to trigger. But how we can trigger this event? We have certain methods are available, like cy.on. So in that method, we will try to trigger this event. So this is a normal alert. So we have to use window colon alert. Now let us try to use it. Here I'm writing one event, cy dot on. So this is a method which we have to use to trigger the event, cy dot on. And what is the event we have to trigger? Window colon alert, because it's a normal alert window. And uh, then comma. So this is the event comma. So this event we have to store, we have to pass into uh, a method and this particular window. So basically this is a, a option which will uh, raise an event and we will store the alert window in T and this is an arrow function. And this arrow function, uh, we are going to implement uh, the curly brace. We have to implement this. So here we need to write one validation message, how we can implement. So this is uh, going to send an event and we capture the alert window in this. T is representing some alert window. 
now this is simple a variable we are passing into method now inside this we need to validate so we need to write one uh, assertion like expect what we are expecting here is we are expecting in t t is representing an alert window in this two dot contains the alert window contains what we are expecting in this we are expecting some message so what is that message we are expecting in this alert window so this is a message we are expecting so copy this message and then specify inside the assertion like this so this is a validation point so to close this alert window we no need to write anything cypress will automatically close the alert window but if you want to validate something in the alert window we have to write some event method like this so cy dot on and this is the type of event and we are capturing alert window in this variable and then we are verifying this particular text contains in the alert window or not okay so this is a validation so and uh, we can also add one more validation so what is that validation so this is for only text we are checking only text present in the alert window or not while triggering this event okay and suppose after closing this we are getting one message here right so this message also we can validate so you successfully clicked on alert so if this message is correct then we can confirm that alert is handled by the cypress but we are not written any code for closing the alert window cypress will automatically close it but how we will know that so we can verify this message how we can verify this message again i'll put one more validation point so let's inspect this element and go to this css selector and you can see this is the element and this is the element id equal to result is there right so we can write the css for this how we can write css because id is available i'm directly writing hash id uh, what is an id result is my id so this will able to identify this text element now i'm using it here i'll put one more validation so this event we triggered for validating the text on the alert window but alert window will automatically close it by cypress now we need to validate the text after closing so here alert window automatically closed by cypress cypress will handle this we no need to bother about that so we have written this event only for validating the text which is present in the alert window but who will close this cypress will automatically close the cypress uh, which automatically closed alert window okay now what we need to validate how to, how after closing the alert window we can validate this text so now let us find that element so cy dot get and here so this is a css and dot that should should is a validation point should and here what it should contain so what is the result should contain so here i'm using have dot text and that should be here what is a, a message we are uh, expecting the same message should be present so copy this message and this we are expecting so alert window is automatically closed by cypress we haven't written any code for that but after closing if you want to validate the message get this element should have text you successfully clicked on alert so this message should be present now how many assertions we have here this is one assertion where we are validating the text which is present in the alert window and this is another validation where after closing alert window we are validating this text which is present on the ui or not and uh, we are not written any code for closing alert window so please remember that we are raising this event only for validating the message in the alert window and uh, closing of alert window will automatically take care by cypress after closing we are verifying the message okay this is the test now let us save and execute and once it is saved automatically this is going to execute it in cypress automated window let me just try to execute once again let me remove this imports all everything now save the file and see the execution so now let me re-execute once again yes now it is executed now we can see both the sessions are got passed so i am js alert to include i am js alert so this first session is got passed and the second second session is also got passed okay so this is how 
we can validate normal alerts. And please remember, we no need to write a separate code for closing an alert window. So Cypress will automatically close the alert window. But if you want to validate something on the alert window, we have to write some event like this. And after closing it, we can verify the message which is displayed. So this is one type of alert, simple alert. Okay, so now let me show you one more type of alert, which is called JavaScript confirmation alert. Okay, confirmation alert. How to handle the confirmation alert? And what is the confirmation alert? So in the confirmation alert, we can see OK and cancel button. So if I just click on the second one, you can see there are two buttons are there along with the text. So in this also, if you want to validate this message, we have to raise an event. And again, we have a cancel and OK. There are two buttons are there. So there are two buttons are there. So by default, Cypress will close this alert window. By default, the Cypress will close this alert window by using OK. But if you want to close this alert window by using cancel, then again, we have to raise an another event. So for one event is for validating the message in the alert window. The other event is for closing the alert window by using cancel button. And as I said before, Cypress is having mechanism to close alert window automatically. So we no need to write a separate code for that. But by default, Cypress will close this alert window by using OK button. Okay, Cypress will handle this. It will automatically close this, but it will use OK button. But if you want to close this alert window by using cancel button, then again, we have to raise one more event. Okay, now we'll see how we can do these things. Go back to your VS Code Editor. Now I am just copying the same block. Okay, so what I can do is the first one, I'll skip it or else let it be there. Later we will skip. Now let us try to change this. So JS, this is confirmation alert. Confirm alert. Same URL and I'm going to remove this part. Okay, now let us try to implement. So now I'm launching the page and here we need to click on the second element. So second input box. So let me just click on it. Second one. So this is relative CSS locator. So let me just copy this. And we need to perform click action on this. Go back to VS Code and find that element cy.get. And here specify this element dot perform the click action perform the click action so this will uh, perform the click action on that element okay now as soon as you click on this the alert window will open and this alert window will automatically handle by the cypress by using ok button it will automatically close so we no need to close but before closing it if you want to validate this message so still we can validate so as I said, in the before test, same thing we have to continue again. So if you want to validate the text in the alert window, again, we have to raise this event window, cy.on. So let's copy this event and then paste it over here. But so what is the difference here is, so previously uh, we have only simple alert, which is not confirmation alert. So we have to say window colon alert. So this is the trigger we have to, this is the event we have to trigger, window colon alert, because this is a simple window alert. But this time, this is a confirmation alert. This alert is different. So because it is a confirmation alert, we should not say window alert. Instead of that, we should say window confirm. Window confirm. So if we just look at their documentation, so they have given one more type of event here. So this is the one window confirm. So previously we used window alert event because which is a simple event box. But now the alert is a confirm uh, alert box. So we need to use this one window colon confirm. So window colon confirm. We are getting the uh, alert window here dot contains and this is a message we are going to validate. So if I just look at here, this is a message we are going to validate. I think this is the same message. Okay, so we are, uh, I am JS confirm. So the message is different this time. So this is the message we are validating on the alert. But alert will automatically close. As I said before, alert will automatically close by Cypress by using OK button. But if you want to validate some message in the alert, we have to 
trigger this event. Okay, so once it is automatically closed, now we want to validate something. Let's say Cypress is automatically closed this window by using OK button. Now you got this message. Now I want to verify this message because whether it is closed by OK button or not, how we will know that. So we can validate this message. So let us try to validate. So inspect this element. And uh, you can see here, there is ID result is there. So let me write CSS hash result. So this is able to identify this element. Same ID and go back here and write the validation cy dot get and specify that element dot again same kind of validation should have text should have dot text so this is a validation and what is the text we should we are expecting here is we are expecting you clicked okay so this is the text we are expecting okay so we are not written any code here for closing the alert window so please remember, so Cypress will automatically close the alert window by using OK button here. So here, Cypress automatically closed alert window by using OK button. So OK button is a default, but uh, if you want to uh, close the alert window using cancel button, so we need to write our own code. Again, we need to write another type of trigger, uh, another type of event we have to trigger. So here we are validating the text present on the alert window. For that, we are raising one event. And uh, the window is automatically closed by the alert, uh, automatically closed by Cypress, and where it is internally using OK button, so that we are verifying the message is OK or not. OK, so now I want to execute this. So to execute this, what you can do is, I just want to either you can write here skip. The first one I can skip. If you want to skip the first one, first it block, you can say skip. Or suppose I have a multiple it box. I want to execute only this block. I have a multiple it blocks, but I want to execute only this particular block. Then you can see one more option called only. Skip means in runtime, the it block will be skipped. But when you say only, even though if you have a multiple it blocks, the only block will be executed. Okay, now let us try to execute and see whether it's working fine or not. So as soon as you save it, then you can see the execution here. Yes, perfect. So now I have put two validation points. Now you can see I am a JS confirmation. So the text is passed and we have validated text successfully on the alert and then expected result. Now you can see you clicked OK. That means Cypress automatically closed the alert window by using OK button itself. Okay, suppose I want to close alert window by using cancel button. By using cancel button, I want to close. Okay, then how we can do that? So it is automatically closed by Cypress itself, but when it is closing automatically, it is internally using OK button. That is the default behavior. But I want to close my alert window by using cancel button. In that case, we need to write one more event. Okay, so let me copy the same block. One more block I will create. So this time we will close using OK button. So JS confirm alert. And here we are closing by using OK button. So now let me just remove this only. So this time I'm going to run another it block. So this block, so JS confirmation alert. So in the first one, we have seen by using OK button. And this time we are going to see by using cancel. So if you want to see by using OK button, you don't need to write any event just we are verifying the text message for that we have written one event and after automatically closed we are verifying the message is okay or not but if you want to close alert window by using cancel then what is additional event which we have to write so if you leave the script like this as it is by default it will close by using okay button that's a default nature but now i want to close this alert window using cancel button using cancel button so for that, what you can do is we have to write one more event. So what is that event? CY dot on, CY dot on, which type of window it is? Again, window colon confirmation window. So the same type of window. So I can say window dot confirm, confirm. 
same event and the second parameter is arrow function arrow function here we have to say false that's it false so cy dot on window colon confirm and false so what this event will do this will automatically uh, while closing alert window it will use cancel button okay it will use cancel button so here cypress will close window cypress closes alert window using cancel button using cancel button so by default it will be true actually so if i say true here it will close automatically by using ok button okay that is a default uh, behavior so we no need to write a separate event for that default is ok but if you want to close alert window by using cancel button so we have to make this as false and this is another event so the first event is for what we are verifying the message on the alert window. Second event is what we are uh, closing the alert window using cancel button. And after that, actually we are not closing the alert window. Cypress itself is closing alert window, but we are providing the instruction to the Cypress close alert window using cancel button. For that, we are making this as a false. And same kind of alert window for both the events. Fine. So finally, here we are verifying it should be cancelled, right? So if you close this alert window by using cancel button, you can see the cancel message is here. So that we need to validate. So how we will know whether it is user cancel or not? We have to validate like this. So how text is you clicked cancel. This is the validation point. Now let us try to execute it and see whether it is closing using cancel button or not. Now save the file and this will automatically execute your script now you can see both the assertions are got passed now if you look at the second assertion you clicked cancel that means your alert window is got closed by using cancel button okay so this is a separate event we have to write to close alert window by using cancel button but if i don't write this event if i don't write this event by default it will close by using ok button so remember, Cypress will automatically close alert windows. We don't need to write any separate code for that. But if you want to get a control on that, if you want to validate some message on the alert window, or if you want to close alert window using cancel, then we can trigger one more event like this. So this is how we can handle confirmation alert by using OK button and a cancel button. So this is another type of alert. Now, let us see the another type of alert, third type of alert. JavaScript prompt alert. So what is a prompt alert? So if I just look at the third one, when you click on this prompt alert, you will see one input box. And here we can pass some value and then we can use either cancel or OK button. If you click on OK button, now here you can see the text, whatever text we provided in the input box, the same text will be displayed here. And suppose if you click on the cancel button, then you can see null here, right? So here, how we can handle this. So as I said, as soon as the alert window is open, Cypress will automatically close this by using OK button. That is the default behavior. But what is the additional thing which we have to do here is, we have to pass some text inside the input box. That means we have to write one event for that. Second thing, suppose if you want to close the select window by using OK button, we no need to write any event for that because that is a Cypress default behavior. It will automatically close. So if you want to provide only text, then if you want to click on OK button, then one event is enough. But if you want to close this window by using cancel button after providing the text, then two events which we have to write. Okay, so first of all, let us see how we can write event which will provide the value into this input box in the alert, okay? So alert window will automatically close by Cypress, but the only thing is we need to write one additional event. Through that, we can pass the value in the input box. Okay, let's see how we can do that. So one more important thing. So here before opening this, we can pass the value in the input box. So that event should be triggered before opening the input box because after opening the input box, we cannot trigger any event on this input box. So 
before opening this input box, we have to trigger event in which we can pass the text value inside this input box. And after that, we can close this input box either by using OK or cancel. OK, so let us write a script for here. So let me create one more it block. I'm copying the same it block which is written above. So I can remove this only for above block. Now I can run this only this block. Third type of alert, prompted alert. So JS prompt alert. JS prompt alert. So same URL. Now here we are not clicking on this button. So we will do this later because before opening the alert window, we have to write one event in which we have to pass the text into the input box. So now I launch in the page and after launching the page, we don't directly click on this element. So before getting this alert window, we need to raise a uh, event in which we can pass the text in the input box. Okay. So what kind of event we have to write and how we can write the method here. Uh, again, we have to write event. Uh, we have to use some other method to raise an event that is cy dot window cy dot window okay this is the method it is not cy dot on method so this is cy dot window because this event should be triggered before opening the alert window so cy dot window if window is open then what we should do we have to capture that window in a variable so here i'm creating one variable called win and I'm passing this into arrow function. I'm passing this in the arrow function. So whenever the window is opened, then I'm capturing that window here in this variable. Now, what type of window it is? It is a prompt window. So we use one method called something called stub. Okay, cy dot stub. In the coming videos, I will discuss more about stub. So for now, just understand whatever window we are capturing into this variable. So cy dot stub method we have to call inside this, we have to pass this window and also specify what type of window it is that is called prompt. And then we have to pass some value into the input box for that. We use one method called returns and here we can pass the text. Let me pass something called welcome. Okay. Let's try to understand what exactly it is. So this is a, a method which we created before opening the alert window because the alert window is having one input box where we can pass the value. So we have to get the control on it. So once we get a control on it before sending the alert window or before opening the alert window, we will get the control on it. Then we have to pass this value in the input box. So for that, we have to raise this event cy dot window, then capture the window here. And using stub method, we can specify what type of window it is. Window is a prompt type of window. Returns welcome. So we are passing this value. After setting up this, then we have to click on the element. So this is the element we have to click. Now inspect this element. And so click for JS prompt. So this is the element we want to click. So get this element. CSS I'm using. Go back and you can put inside this method itself or you can write separate code. So after completion of this, you can write it here itself. No problem. I can say cy dot get and this is a CSS and then perform the click action. Like this you can do. So before opening the uh, prompted alert window, we are getting the control on it. Then we are passing the value in the input box. And after that, we are triggering this. We are clicking on this. It will automatically open the window. So once it is done, so then we have to validate something. So as I said before, the window will automatically close. So we already set this value before opening this window. So it will open and it will automatically enter the value. And then we have to close this. And uh, if you want to close this by using OK, that is a default behavior. So we don't need to write any script for that. But if you want to close this by using cancel button, then we have to write a script. So by default, anyway, it will use OK button. Then we have to validate this message. This is a message we have to validate. So let's inspect this element. And ID is a result. So here say result. So with this, 
I'm able to locate the element. Now directly do the validation. So we no need to close alert window. Cypress will take care. So after providing the one, Cypress will automatically close prompted alert. Okay, so we no need to do. And while closing it, by default, it will use it will use OK button by default. Okay, you have to remember this. So now we need to validate. So how to validate this? We already captured the element, right? So cy dot get, and this is the element, and in which we are validating the text. What is the text we are validating? Should should have text should have dot text and so what is the text we are expecting here is this is the one so this is the text we are expecting so that we need to validate right so this is a validation so what exactly we are doing is so as soon as you launch your application before opening the alert window we are getting the control on it then we are passing the text and then once you click on it it will open the alert window which will contains the text automatically and after that cypress will close alert window by using ok button so that we can verify this message perfect now let us try to execute only this one and yeah so rest of them it blocks are there but here i have said one option called only so only option is only this it block will be executed so let us save the file and it will automatically execution will start yes now we can see here so to have text is you entered welcome so the welcome text is executed perfectly fine so suppose i want to close this alert window by using cancel button okay so anyway i have triggered this event where i have passed this welcome message but uh, cypress is automatically closed by using ok button but i want to close this by using cancel button then what will happen we will get null here so our test will fail definitely so let us write another event through which we will close alert window by using cancel button okay by using cancel button i will close the alert window so how we can do that earlier we already done right so the same thing so this particular command we need to make it as a false before doing validation cy dot on window dot confirm and false so what this will do this will automatically uh, this will automatically uh, close the alert window by using cancel button. So by using cancel button, it will automatically close it. So let us try to execute and see one more time. So this time our test should fail because here you will get null. If you use cancel button, you will get null. You can just look at here. So even though we pass the value, when you click on the cancel, so you will get null. So our expected message is different. So definitely it will fail. Now go to the file and save and see the execution. So now we can see it is uh, how text is entered. Still it is got passed. So we have done something wrong. So here, this is not a confirmation window, right? So this is a prompted window. So instead of confirm, we have to say prompt here. Okay, prompt. Now let us try to execute one more time. Okay, now again, uh, we got the same message. Let us check it. So somehow this is not working for this particular window. We will see this later. So by default, the alert window will be closed by Cypress and we will able to check this value or text which is present after closing the alert window. So this is basically prompt alert. Okay, so now we will see the fourth one and which is authenticated alert. So let me remove this option now. Let me see how we can automate authenticated alert. So again, let me copy this it block. Okay. Now let me remove all these things. This is authenticated alert. So now let's see how we can automate authenticated alert. So let me open uh, one more application. Okay, so let's look at this page. 
see now as soon as you open this application url so you will get a one more alert window which is having username and password so this is authenticated pop up so until unless we provided username and password we cannot proceed further so how we can handle this type of authenticated alerts or authenticated window so here uh, we will try to pass this username and password along with this url so we will inject your username and password along with this url and so that we can skip this particular window so that is the one option which we have the other option is we can provide this username and password along with the url so one option is we can directly inject this username and password along with the url the second thing is we can also pass this username and password as a parameters inside the visit method okay so i will show you both the options so first of all uh, let us launch that particular website so cy dot and this is approach one approach one so i can say simply cy dot visit normally what you will do we will specify the url of application right so this is the url of application and this is the url of application and along with this we can also pass your username and password as a parameter how we can pass in the json format you can simply say comma and in the curly braces in the curly braces we have to say something called auth colon and in the two curly braces here we have to specify username is username is admin this is one parameter and then we need to pass comma comma and then password is also admin that also we need to keep inside the double quotations and after that you need to close this bracket so you can also write this in multiple lines like this you can see auth colon and uh, inside this username this is the username we provided and then this is the password and this bracket is got closed here and this is a closing bracket of auth right so this is a closing bracket of visit so this is the one way we can do it so along with this url first parameter we can pass this entire thing as a second parameter and this will go along with this url so it will automatically skip that particular window and after that we can do some validation so as soon as we enter this admin so here I'm passing admin and also admin click on sign in. So then you can see uh, there is a congratulations message will be displayed. So this message I can validate. So let us try to validate this. Let's say inspect and go to selector hub. And this is the CSS which we can use to locate the element. So now I'm copying this and go back and then i'll put one validation i can say cy dot get and in the double quotation specify this locator dot we are verifying something let's say should have content because there is a lot of text inside this so here i'm saying have a dot contain i'm not comparing the entire text so have contain and the second parameter should be congratulations so that we are expecting expecting congratulations so with this we are going to expecting so go back to the page and this is the text we are expecting congratulations okay so this is a case sensitive exactly we have to specify same so this is the validation as soon as you open the page with this url and authentication username and password then we are validating this one this is one approach so in the visit method you can pass the url along with this authentication okay now let us run this one it dot only i'm running only this fourth one go to the file save and see the execution here yes now it is successfully passed so let me rerun once again yeah now authentication is got passed and congratulations so this is one approach now the second approach is what we can directly inject your username and password inside this url along with the url you can pass okay let me just comment this now i'm going to show you one more approach second approach same thing cy dot visit 
And here by passing the URL, we will try to inject username and password. So actual URL is what? This is actual URL. Now look at this. This is the actual URL. So inside this, what we will do is we will say some syntax here. HTTP uh, S colon colon. So here we should specify admin colon admin then at the rate. So here we need to provide the username and password along with the URL then at the rate and the rest of the URL you can pass. So this is the complete URL which we have to pass inside the visit. So this is another way of uh, skipping that window, skipping the authentication window. Basically it is authenticating, but as a user, we are not able to see the window. So then we can do the validation, same validation. Just copy the statement and after successful login, we are expecting this message. And this is the authenticated element. Let me just try to execute once again. Yeah, now somehow it is get failed. Now let us see why it is getting failed. Maybe syntax is not correct. CY dot visit HTTPS colon colon admin colon admin at the rate. The internet dot go dot com basic AUTH is missing. So H is missing. Perfect. Now, let us try to execute one more time. Save and see the window. Now, perfect. Now, it is successfully authenticated. Now, we can see congratulations message. And also, you can see my assertion is got passed. Okay. So, this is how we can handle different type of windows. So, simple JavaScript alert and then JavaScript confirmation alert with OK and cancel buttons and JavaScript prompted alert so where we can see some input box and where we can pass the value and also we have seen how we can automate authenticated alert in cypress and remember alert windows automatically closed by cypress itself so we no need to write a separate script for that but if you want to do some validation on alert window then we have to get the control on it by rising set an event and then we can control that. So we can validate the text. We can pass the text in the input box or we can close the alert window by using cancel button. So all these things we will be able to control by raising the different type of events. So for more events, you can just go to this link. You can just simply say Cypress events. And here you can see catalog events. So many types of events they have provided in their official documentation. You can just go through and understand this. Okay. So this is how we can handle different types of alerts in Cypress. In the next video, we'll see a few more concepts. Thanks for watching.